New tonight for you. Do you remember that bitter freeze before Christmas last year? It has been a continuous problem for everybody out at the Wood County Museum. Tonight, John Monk has an update on the end of a nearly one year long ordeal. More than 10 months ago, 11 of the 88 radiators inside of the Wood County Museum froze and burst. And for three days, the water was unchecked as it damaged three floors of the historic Wood County building. And so that means the water basically leaked out of those units from the third floor down to the second floor, down to the first floor, basically sealing right through the floors. Museum leaders say the majority of repairs were covered by Wood County insurance. Meanwhile, crews were busy replacing carpet, subflooring, ceilings, paint and plaster. Today, the museum was finally able to open its doors to guests once again. It's nice to talk to people. They're always very excited to share what they know about Wood County history or if they're connected to somebody uh, here in our exhibit that we are featuring. And on a positive side, no historic artifacts were damaged during the incident or while being moved out and in. And while construction was going on for repairs, the museum took the opportunity to install more track lighting in the areas that got a new ceiling. That helps to light the exhibits a lot better and some rooms didn't have that yet. So we did make some of those updates while the ceilings were opened up. The Wood County Museum is officially open six days a week, Mondays through Saturdays, and we'll be hoping a special reopening ribbon cutting this Thursday at 3.30. Reporting from Wood County, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.